Hello, Hello Floss Tube, where the real house is of cross stitch. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. And this is Piper. And Ronnie's taking her nap. And someone asked where the why they haven't seen the cat. He's right over there, so he's he's good. If I get up, I'll grab him and show you. Harlow. Harlow. Yep. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. And happy Easter because you know we'll forget. Yes, happy <laughs> Easter. Um I liked reading all of your comments about what you're cooking or what you're not cooking. Um, yes. I like both options. Um, we're, we're having ham, hash brown casserole, and broccoli salad. Broccoli bacon cheese salad, which the recipe is on my blog, and it's amazing. And then we're going to make those little... Um, what is wrong with her again? <laughs> we're going to make those little... Except for I don't have any little mason jars. We put like the banana cream pie filling with whipped cream in there. And banana slices, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just make and little trifles, miniature trifles, I guess you could say it is. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, we get this little dessert at um, Lazy Dog when we go that is like this chocolate mousse and whipped cream. And then there's like chocolate syrup at the bottom. But the best is these flaky pancake pieces. No, waffle. Waffle it's, pieces. It's like dried up. I think like, you know, the edges of a waffle that are crispy. It's like those. But no, they're like, what I think it is, is I think they take waffle cones and crush them. Oh, maybe. Ice cream cones. They're very good. Um, but we do that for dessert, and it's really easy. doesn't have to be perfect. It's quick to make. This week, we... we went to the Easter egg hunt on Saturday. Oh, yeah, and Easter egg Cash hunt. ran around and got a bunch of <laughs> eggs. We went day. to bowling. lunch. We went to bowling. He was wiped. <laughs> he was <all laughs> wiped out. And then Sunday, I went to three flag football games. And I, in between a couple of the games, I ran up to the garden place that we go to because they had put out pansies. So I got pansies, even though it's like 28 degrees outside. It's so cold. Cash had his first Sunday school. Uh, we said it was practice for a real school, and he was so excited. He didn't want to leave afterwards. He was a little hesitant to go in at first, but he, I mean, he, he has all new friends. And then we went to Cracker Barrel afterwards, and every little kid that he saw, he's like, that's my friend from church. That's my friend. And I didn't know if it was really his friend or if it was just a little kid. Like They all look so, alike. Yeah, right. I didn't know. Um, but he had a really good time. And then, oh, we had really bad storms on Wednesday. He was supposed to have soccer practice, but we had really bad storms instead. We were getting ready for the... Um, tomorrow's heirlooms retreat in Glen Ellen. We are super excited about that next weekend. Yeah, I got a story about gathering supplies for that at the end. I'll tell you. The Annabella's <laughs> retreat sold out, but you can get on a wait list yes. through their website. Um, so we're extremely happy and excited to see all of you in November. Yes. Uh, so we will get into questions. Cindy wanted to know, have you ever used store-bought tomatoes for your yard sauce recipe? No, I have not. I usually have enough that, you know, we make it through. We've seen people that make them, you know, they don't have a garden or they don't have a yeah. um, a farmer's market. Um, in our opinion. I would, I would think that that gets a little bit pricey, but. Yeah, pricey. And um, store-bought tomatoes aren't as ripe. If you kind of research the process of um, store-bought tomatoes and how they're picked from the vine ripen, they just don't have a chance to get their, their sugars content, their sweetness. So there's just a little bit. And the acidity is off, so and it's just different. I think if I was going to buy store-bought tomatoes, I would buy strictly the small tomatoes because they're sweeter. Cherry tomatoes, yeah. Or grape tomatoes, whatever. We really liked, um, what are those little ones called? Mon Campari. Campari tomatoes. Those are really good at the store to make like a, a um, basil mozzarella yeah. type of thing. Country Americana Stitcher, may I please ask where you found the home sign in your mug room? I think she means mud room. Oh, and I feel like she's talking about the the big thing on the wall. So it's not a sign. I bought the HME from Hobby Lobby, just the letters, and then bought a wreath. Spare Claire, have you ever thought of doing a chicken series of cross stitch? I've stitched all of your chickens and I want more. Yes. And I was thinking about it this morning when I was drying my hair. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, whoever posted, I forgot to look at the name this morning. Uh, the did you see that the chicken coop that is just like huge and they're like this could be where you get married. It was humongous and it looks like heaven. No, I didn't see that. Dina, what projects does Chelsea use the Q snap for? I use them for all of mine. So right now I have a five by seven kitted up. I can't show you. It's a retreat piece that I'm stitching. Um, hold on, but I just. 
folded the extra fabric over it's hanging out this side right here so I mean I use it for all of my pieces and if I were to put a bigger one in there I'll just put it in I was having problems holding the fabric with my hands for some reason they, my tension was off come here Harlow you good boy this is Harlow this is mom's kitty he's huge um, mom got some new furniture that you'll see in the home tours and he has a, ca a, a chair that was for him and so he's been feeling displaced but he's finally back on the new chair feeling <laughs> right at home so he's a big boy I got some of the old furniture I was I meant to tell you so I vacuumed it like a hundred it wouldn't it just came off in like rolls <laughs> of cat hair because he sat on that chair the chair is my chair to be honest anytime we gather that's where I go it's the chair with the ottoman and I okay just, so that's like, your hair then <laughs> it probably <laughs> um D Dina He's got really long hair and it's everywhere, but she brushes him all the time. It's sh he just sheds a lot. Dina, um, also, have you ever made a video of going to the store and buying the item you are going to mount your cross stitch project? To? Yes, we did that when we went to Fat Quarter Shop. So I'm not sure if it's on their channel or our channel. Yeah, when we went to Fat Quarter Shop, we filmed a bunch of videos and then we just split the videos between the two channels, so mm -hmm. you can see that on ours and on Mom's. Vadika, did you end up going to jury duty? And if you did, did you actually stitch there? No, I got out of it. So I had to call. It, she was so, like, the nerves that she had. Yeah. I was... Oh, I can go. Let's go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> she said she had to call at 11.15 or something. She said, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the service was awful. We went to Cheddar's and they were rude. <laughs> no, it was good. I got out of it and... I, when, what day did I tell you I you was free? It by 30. Wednesday. Yep, I missed it by no forty. Oh, 40. I missed it by forty people. They took two up to two thirty nine, and I was two seventy nine. And I, she said that I was midway. So they call like five hundred people. Well, yeah, for just, jury duty. It's a lot. Um, is any of this real wood? All of this is real wood. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Real wood? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Should we light it and see if it burns? <laughs> Season six of Survivor is what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Regina, love the display in turquoise dishes in your hutch. Are those the Pioneer Woman's? Yes, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought she... Oh, you don't have your bunny ones up this year. No, oh. I did not. Oh. They're, they're still in the cabinet. Oh, okay. There's a lot of spring stuff that I didn't put up this year because of, you know, all the stuff that was going on. I'm still waiting for... My vent fan, so my kitchen isn't finished. She's going to be cleaning up dust for the next seven years yes. on her table. <laughs> yes, because I decided to, um, to sand it. <laughs> and I thought that the bag attached to the sander would catch all the dust. On a Sunday morning, she just decided to take off the top coat of her table. So I'm like, did you read about what grit you were supposed to do? No, I just put one on and like it wasn't coming off, so I just did the next one. <laughs> I got this box of all of them, so I'm just going to try them all. Could help. What can I tell you? <laughs> Nobody yeah. sent my chairs. My guy that painted the cabinets, he's painting my chairs for me. So he took them away, and I haven't seen my chairs in a Yeah, is he almost done? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm not getting them back. <laughs> no, but he's painting at my neighbor's cabinets, so I'm hoping to see my chairs in that vicinity of time. <laughs> Don, will you tell me if there's a finishing video of for the home project? I can't seem to find one, and I thought there was. Or do you wrap your fabric around sticky boards also, or just a six-inch square fabric? No, they are wrapped around sticky boards. They're finished just like anything else that we finish. So if you watch any of our other video tutorials, you can see the process that we go through to put fabric on the back and then add another piece on top. But I've told Chelsea that we need to, um, since mine's already finished and it's not here because it's still on its road trip, I got to get that back. Um, we, we need to like show you exactly. And last week's video, we showed you how the pieces were mounted with the magnets and everything. So maybe look back at last week's video and we kind of went over it, but we do need to go over when the new we told you that there will be additional like specialty ones coming out that 
when that happens she can't just okay. spit it out <laughs> we'll <Yeah>. show you <laughs> or possibly when you get kimberly's to finish too we could film a video so they had that yeah but she said there. that she's not gonna do, send it to me until she's totally done and she's planning on going into 2023 and i don't think these people want to wait oh yeah so we'll we'll figure out something so we'll many of something. you have finished and so many different fabrics and yes love they're season. all amazing Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that, like, when you walk into the room and you see that big piece hanging there, you're like, wow, I did that. Look at I did those letters. Yeah. And then you take a shot, and then you're, like, happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, so many have said how easy it is to just outline them and fill it in. Yep, um, in mindless stitching, you're able to, like, perfect talk travel, to people. Perfect travel, travel piece. Travel piece, yeah, absolutely. But even just sitting on the couch, if you're really or, into a yeah, show. Yeah, like the kids' soccer games or something when you got to sit there for an hour before they even start playing. Yeah. You you can, if you, your thing is outlined, you just fill it in. Yep. Speaking of that, we're going to give away a pack of the floss for the whole series. Yes, yeah, so this is Home is Where the Wreath is, um, complete fancy. I don't know what this is. Uh, complete Fancy floss pack. This will get you through the home is where the wreath is, the reswap one, and the reswap two. So this will be you'll be able to do um, the three different mm -hmm. booklets with this. And this is available at Fat Quarter Shop. And thank you, Fat Quarter Shop, for sending us yes. them to give away. Also, uh, Fat Quarter Shop is having a sale on some of their shirts and our Jolly Housewives, the red sleeves. Mm -hmm. with, our first year of Jolly Housewives. Yeah, the red. Uh, baseball tee with the tree on it that is 25% off mm -hmm. uh, once they are out they they're gone so 25% yeah. off and I, I think that sale is um for a li for a little bit now so it's not like you have to get it today it's for a few days at least I know Debbie how long until June calendar crates is in your Etsy that'll be in our Etsy on May 15th mm -hmm. uh May just went in the Etsy shop as well as Jingle Bell Cafe this this mm -hmm. when Friday Friday went in yeah yesterday Sally at retreats do you sell your paper patterns sometimes if if we're within driving distance yes and we can bring them and when we go to tomorrow's heirlooms we're gonna have a trunk show so the everything will be set up and they'll be able to see everything stitched I'm so thirsty today. I don't know why I keep drinking. Ashton, Chelsea, could you show again how you use the sewing method with a Q-snap? I appreciate your question. I can't show you my project today. I have a camera or a, a clamp that I could put my cam my phone in. So I can try to sh film a short video and I'll put it on my Instagram of stitching using the Q-snap. Monica, do you iron your fabric after it dries? Probably for dyeing your fabric. No, we we do not iron it right then. But <laughs> if it's like wrinkly after we've you know worked with it the whole time, then we iron it. Sometimes I don't even have to iron them. Right, we stitch in hand, so it kind of loosens up mm -hmm. as it goes. It doesn't stay stiff. I would say that the writ dyed fabric needs ironing more than anything else that we do. And it shrinks a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That not the apple green, the one I did before the apple green was it the, the um, evening blue? Yeah. It was tiny. She did Daisy but May on that too. Who, right? who knows if it wasn't right to begin with? Oh yeah, oh, of course. But it was, it was give me back to my black fabric. Okay, that's the questions I have for this week. And I mentioned the sale. I mentioned the retreat, so I'm good on my news. Okay. I can't show my whip. This is my whip. I can't show it. We'll, we'll be able to show it next week after my whip. Yeah, because we'll have to do a video from the retreat. So we'll do our video probably Friday sometime, and then we'll we'll put it for Saturday morning, but then you'll be able to see the retreat piece, and you're going to love it. Yes. So they are, how the retreat works is they are sent to the piece. I lost my whip. <laughs> They are sent the piece beforehand, mm -hmm. um, so they're able to stitch it. And then what we do, there, there's two different types of retreats, I guess. How we have always done it is this way. Some people, you get the, the stitching at the retreat, and you stitch the piece at the retreat, and then they talk about how you could finish mm -hmm. it or whatnot. We have them do some homework, so you pre-stitch it, you bring it to class, and then we show you how to finish it. Yes. All right, so this week for new releases... First in our seeds, we had the coneflower seeds. This is last week was the wildflower mixed coneflower seeds. Then this week was lavender. 
So that stand is from, and this was one of those blocks from Michael's, but I covered it with the black and white um, stitching stripes, our fabric. Yes. I just ironed it and glued it on with hot glue. This is one of the stands from Chantel 141 Design Company. Um, you, it comes unpaint, unfinished, and then she painted them for us when mm -hmm. she sent them, which was very nice. So uh, lavender seeds, part of the seed packs. I love seeing those finishes, like little pillows, too. They're super mm -hmm. cute. So this is the gray Chelsea's checks. And then for the lavender, I bought a big like bundle of it. And it's sitting on that shelf in my new mudroom thing. And Spare Claire and I have been having a conversation about porches. On it's Space Claire. Space Claire. <laughs> it's Space Claire. <laughs> and she said, so she's, she's sending me the definition of it. And actually a porch to her is like the enclosed area that you walk into before you get into the house. And where I grew up, I had a porch that was just like that, where there was a closed-in area before you get in the house, but mm -hmm. we never used it. I don't know why. We never used that door. A lot of people just, like, pile furniture and stuff up on those, don't they? We didn't have furniture piled up on it, but it it was, it was like, it had the really old, cool floors, and it had, like, windows all around. Oh. It was really why pretty. Didn't you, how'd you get to your front door? We went in the side door. Oh, Okay. We didn't use it. It was like there was furniture in front of the door. They had a greenhouse attached to their house when mm -hmm. they were young, too. We want to drive by there to see if it's still like that. I think it was the last time I went. They had one of those, what are those things? The wagon wheels? The wagon wheels out front. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yours? How are you going to get it? <laughs> it's not like I live there. Are you going to steal it? Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, so then we, in our doodad series, we're doing a bee farm theme. So first we had the the farm with the barn. Mom's deathly allergic to bees as well, so her doing a bee farm is But I've, I've always decorated with them, no, and I, I like stitching them. I, but I told her I, I'm going to have bees, and she's, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I said that. I'm having them behind the barn. Um, honey bee farm, this was... When people asked last week, what was your favorite series? This is my favorite series. I love the green. I love all bees. But this week's was my favorite chart that she's designed so far. This is Snowden Honey. How can you pick one? It's in the mood. If I'm in the mood. My mood right now is this. Then this is this week. So again, on one of these washboard easel thingies from Michaels, this was... Honey delivery. Okay, so there's, th these stands are two-sided, and there's a bee on both sides, so I cut the bee off, and I stuck it on the front. <laughs> Plus, I used one of those picks and some ribbon. And I put the stitching stripes for the background, and then I did the Priscilla's Pretty Plaids in the mustard. So this was plain, just had a bee on it? It just had one bee on it. So they could cut the two bees off, put them on this side, and then have this plain, because this doesn't say anything bee related, and it be a second finish for a different season. You're true, you're right, but look at that. this is sticking up. Well, this could be put on magnets and washers if they wanted to, but this one was super cute with the banner, all the little bees. This fabric again, it's 28 count Monaco that we got in the little bitty rolls from Fat Quarter Shop. The mom they're takes probably it. probably about like 11 by something. They're, they're, they're a decent oh, size. Oh yeah, they're not, I didn't mean little rolls. I meant but it's just, a, right, they're rolls of fabric. Um, to us, that's a little piece because we used to, we used to use like yards of it. Like we talked about last week, we got used to be able to get it at Joann's with a big wad of fabric. Okay, the rolls. They're big enough to do a couple of projects on. Um, Rit dyed with apple green. And all of this stuff is in our tutorial on YouTube. On our playlist, go to tutorials. You'll be able to see it there. Then it's flashing coffee tea dye. Really pretty color. Very mm -hmm. subtle, springy, very happy. And, and it'll transition into summer really well. Yeah, but this could also um, be done on any color. I mean, it could be done on tea coffee dye. Sure. Has, haven't some people done them? I thought I saw the first barn done on different colors. Black, I think I saw. <laughs> no, I did see it in black. <laughs> they had to change the outline. I think they changed the outline to yellow. I think they, because there's a, a black outline. So you, to give the letters definition, you'd have to change that to a different color. Okay, that's all I have to say. 
I talked a lot. <laughs> okay, so I can open my gift now. Mom got me a gift for haul. I got myself one too. When, when I made my first round through the store, there was one sitting on the counter. So I got that one, or on the, the it was on the shelf with the Easter stuff. Aww. Then I thought, shoot, I'm gonna go back one more time through the cups. I go back one more time and there it was. And I got myself another one too that said, um, shoot, it's over there on the counter. Can you read it? Have, but they the, the there was one. two of them, but the other one was broken. I was yeah. just excited to find the patriotic because that is my least amount of anything is the Land patriotic. Free. Yeah, the other one was broke. It had a crack. Yeah. And they're red, so they look really pretty with your 4th of July stuff. 4th of July has a new special meaning to me since Cash was born, and this year is his um, golden birthday. Yeah. So four on the fourth. So I was so excited to be able to get two of these. Because how do you, like, be a mom and let your kid grow up? Like, it's just not easy. It really isn't. You, you when he went him. to school, I wanted to I wanted to cry. Like, I was, I can't show any emotion, so I went in and just did my own thing. But I was like, oh. But when we came back, he was playing sweet. And then we were talking in the car, and I was like, how was it? Was your teacher nice to you? Like, yes, she told me to shh, 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 when I was playing with my cars. It's like, you can't be the bad kid the first day of school. He's rough. He's all right, so I'm going to show you my haul. I got some floss. This this was the order that I didn't click the. <laughs> so this came from Pack Order Shop. I got lots of floss. I got a, a couple more of the short sleeve V-necks. I my other ones were larges, and these are mediums. And then, when you're trapped in your house because you can't go out because you have workers here, you, you lose weight, so you have to go down a shirt size because you can only eat once a day. No, I just think that they 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 get baggy. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'll still wear my larges, but I the mediums if they fit. Yetis, stitching with the housewives yeti. I probably got one that was mismarked. <laughs> I love my yeti. I love 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 love. Our whole family loves the yeti. We love it. J just remember these in the next couple of weeks, okay? Yes. You haven't got one. Get one. I can't say anything. But we've <laughs> we've like finalized plans on two separate things with Fat Quarter Shop that's coming. Two old projects. Mm-hmm. That you guys are gonna just love. Check so, it off our list. Yeah, and I can't can't tell you. I tried to let them see <laughs> the picture, but she said like, no. No. <laughs> Kimberly would never talk no. to you like that. No, it was Denise. <laughs> oh, no. Denise. Denise would no. tell you no. <laughs> Denise is very organized. <laughs> Denise has a schedule. Denise would walk in here and be like, ah! <laughs> She'd so start labeling really. stuff. <laughs> okay. No, um, I still have, I have like trim here. I have boards over there. It needs to get done. Did like, we tell him your trim was put up too? What trim? So she had those little squares at the corners of everything. Oh, Can you guys right. turn that down a little bit? We're trying to do a video. And then she had it replaced, so they they painted all that. I'll go tell them. Okay. Um, what what am I showing now? What what is what's it my turn to show? Okay. They turned it down. So before we we start this, I'm gonna tell you my little story. So yesterday I go into Hobby Lobby, and it's the one by Gurney Mills. And I'm just looking at stuff. I needed to get magnets and ribbon and things like that for the retreat for next weekend. And so I'm just walking the aisles and I'm, I'm looking and some lady says she, she was the only one in the aisle where I was. And she said the B with the witch word, she said it really loud. And then she's like, I told you. And I thought that she was like talking on, you know how they have the ear things. <laughs> Mosey on and I'm just getting other stuff and I, I go down this other aisle and she she says I walk by her and she's like you need bigger jeans your your fat ass is so or no it's joking me <laughs> your jeans are so tight they're just your fat and my jeans are not tight <laughs> but I was the only one there and I was like Oh my God, I gotta get out of here. It was hysterical. 
She's not laughing now, but yesterday she was dying. I am laughing, because <laughs> it's funnier when you can say it, actually. <laughs> and I was like... And I didn't know what to do. I mean, do you go to the counter and say, hey, you have a customer back there that's... But she had a really big coat on. She wasn't skinny or anything, but I kind of wondered if she wasn't shoplifting and she was... You know, she didn't want anybody around her, so she was going to insult you. <laughs> but she was upset yesterday. She's like, I thought, because my jeans were tight. <laughs> you don't wear what? tight jeans. No. <laughs> it's not like, I mean, you see a lot of people with leggings on that, that like, they're tight. My <laughs> jeans are not like that. <laughs> I told her she's not allowed to leave the house. Yeah. Like, she's not, I got, she I got in my car, home. and I was like, why, why did I go <laughs> She's not allowed to. She can do online shopping from now. <laughs> I told you last, didn't I tell you last week? She gets out of the house. She goes at 8 a.m. She didn't go at 8 a.m. She probably went at 3 or 3.30. No, it was like, just, I had to take your brother to work. All the wackadoodles are out at that time. His car is gone and. All right. Okay. It's moving to Alaska. What? <laughs> Parker is moving to Alaska. I don't know if that was our business to share, but <laughs> he's on, he's leaving to Alaska. Cash is like, where's that? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Alaska. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, he applied for uh, another position and got it. And now he's going to Alaska. I don't know so. if he applied for it as a joke or what. <laughs> like we all thought it was funny. Like, yeah, okay. You're really moving to Alaska, but they picked up his car. <laughs> And they, like, take an inventory of what... So, I mean, really hard to cancel now. Really hard to cancel. So. She's laughing because she wants to cry inside. Like, Alaska? Like, yeah, and he's like, you have to come visit. <laughs> it's beautiful there. We, yes, it's beautiful, but we I... We want to go to the ocean. I already got one kid that I gotta go... <laughs> gonna... Oh, and JoJo started walking this week. She's, like... Trying to run. She's, mm -hmm. yes. Oh. Cash is so excited. Now I can play with her because she can run like me. And, like, and it's so funny because her time hop three years ago, he started walking too. So mm -hmm. they both started walking in the same week. Yes. It's funny. Super crazy. Yes. So, so she started walking in my time hop. He started walking three years ago. And then a year ago, he got his cast off to the same date uh, and had to learn how to rewalk. So just... Doesn't it seem like it was longer ago than a year that he had that? It, it was. Oh, that's my story that I have to tell. We were looking at our, we got to church early. We were looking at our time hop and him, it was like Easter or something last year. And yeah. he was crawling across the yard with his cast. Mm -hmm. And so then we, we go into church. So he saw it and he's like, oh, my leg, blah, 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 blah. We go into church and the guy was like, hey, buddy, how are you? He starts going into the store. Like he has a memory of the story and he starts telling this random stranger that. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> like <laughs> the guy's going to think we're wackadoodles. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's okay, gosh, it's okay. This is your friend. <laughs> go away. Uh, he's always got a story, though, to tell. Um, okay, so we had giveaways last week. I kind of wanted to sneak peek on my... Where is it? My. Did you find it? No. I, but do you remember what I did with it? I don't remember you having it. Breton. Yeah. Is Grandma stitching in her chair where she was? Oh, oh they went to a trampoline park last night. Yes. Did you already say that? No. They went no. to a trampoline. Jumpy. Mm-hmm. She stitched there. She did a sneak peek there if you want to see it there. Yeah. But then they, they shut the lights off, I guess, like at a certain time. Oh, it's like cosmic jumping? Oh, no, it wasn't like cosmic. It was just darker jumping, so I couldn't stitch it anymore. I hoped that we would get cosmic bowling the last when we went bowling last weekend, but mm -hmm. we didn't get it. So I haven't bowled since I hurt my finger last year. No. And I bowled. Was it last, last. year? And yeah. I told her, I said, I think I want to get a ball, uh, my own ball that is light enough with big enough finger holes to be able to bowl. All right, let me go through giveaways while you're finding that. Uh, we Last week we had cone flowers, three opportunities to win the PDF cone flowers. Jackie Wessel, Diane Hall, and Linda, Ri maybe Rikens, Richens, Rikens. Then we had snowed in honey. It was in there? It was on the, the kitchen table. I started to bring it in here, and then we went, went in here to talk about furniture. Snowed in honey, C&M flowers, Goldie Fish is, and Gail Chadwell. I ordered 
I did. I went back and forth if I was going to do it. I ordered all the flowers, so I'm going to hopefully do all my own flowers at my wedding. Mom's going to help me. Um, this is a sneak peek of a release for May. That you'll be seeing soon. Yes. Okay. It's awesome. And if you were really interested in what it is, you could probably find a chalkboard on my blog. <laughs> Next from Fat Quarter Shop and Team, Kimberly, thank you so much. This goes to, this is a way we go. It's a quilt pattern, super cute. Hannah Duffy, Amy Barlow, Linda Cassius, Crystal Bacol, and Flower and Linen. And for those of you who messaged me about the chicken quilt um, that I talked about, the fabric, spring chicken, I think it's called, I went and ordered... I think jelly rolls or something like that. I ordered something different with it and I'm excited to do something with that. I have to go look at that. Is it really cute? It's, I like it, yes. And um, I'm ordering my desks and things for my office and I'm going to have a desk with my sewing machine out all the time. <laughs> so I'm going to be Susie Homemaker <laughs> and just quilt a square a day. Do you, do you sew? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm going to learn. Kimberly has lots of, I don't know if you know Kimberly. She has lots of tutorials where she could teach even me to sew. I'm going to have Cash go. <laughs> no, Cash, he'll sew his finger. It was a thing. joke. It was a joke, guys. Come on. Uh, set L, this is uh, stitch cards. He can cook scrambled eggs. That's the only thing I allow him to do that's slightly dangerous. Stitch cards, Set L, Val Lang, P. Miller Mac, Sue Birdsaw, Stacy Wartina, Wartenia, and Jenny Dawn. Maybe at the end of this video, we can, um, can we do a little video of that? Yeah. We'll show you another, um, it's kind of like a big tier tray, but Bloom. it's like a ladder shelf, right? Yeah. Bloom Where You're Planted. This is by It's So Emma. David Worthington, Joanne Toby, and Tammy Raymond. Then we had Buzz of the Bees, a PDF. This goes to Robin Watley, Suzanne Laggy, and Hawthorne Ferry. I'm gonna get the dust on this. Oh! <laughs> You're okay. That's You're okay. What you get. You're okay. <laughs> Good morning. Have we ever done that before? No, so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. They got it to them fall on the floor. <laughs> oh, they would see everything. Yes. Barnyard Bakery. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Barnyard Bakery PDF. Goes to Karen Holler, Ruth Coleman, and Penny Harrison. Congratulations. Then we had Buffalo Plaid Spring. Right there. Right there. That goes to Susan Lewandowski, Melissa Dawn Smith, and Rebecca Hardy. Speaking of that, we have submitted our summer submission for the Bucket Brigade in yes. Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine. We're super so excited cute. about that. Wait till you see it. You almost did because I almost forgot to change it back. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Carrot Cake. Uh, behind mom that'll be a pdf as well that goes to robin rex road zoe seifer and karen elgi i saw carrot cake someone stitched it on like a coffee tea diet or Ooh. that vintage country mocha it was so pretty mm -hmm. love it pick a chart so you're gonna pick a chart from our etsy shop it is a pdf i'll send it to you now this thing is dangling in the i was video. wondering what was spinning deborah labrador lababara Tanya Carmen and Mrs. K. Then we had tiered tray tidbit entries. It goes to, and you get a $20 gift card to our Etsy shop. Thank you all for entering. There, there gift are card. so many amazing ones. We love seeing all of our stitch designs and mm -hmm. that you've taken the time to finish them, that you, you mm -hmm. display them in your home. You can look at them every day. That makes us very, very happy. Deborah Ross, Jennifer Navarez, Bat. Key, Baki, and Kelly Orf Elkins. Those are the winners this week. Thank you. Would, would a good question be like, um, since watching us, do you, <gasps> is mine correct too? Yeah. Maybe you saw the same one. It's correct. No, the other one was correct. It's correct. I thought when I set it down, it sounded funny. So, would asking them like before they watched us, was their finishing different than after they've watched us? Yeah, yeah. How has you... your finishing evolved since watching us? That's yes. the problem. Do you finish your things? What well, can like... we give them the giveaway? Sure. But I just <laughs> thought that that would be an interesting question. 
one of the finishing runner ups right here. We're not sure. Um, for month to month, we plan on doing a finishing video for that so that mm -hmm. we can release it during the series. So you have ideas of how to finish it. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we are excited about that series. We and really I think that the way it's going to go, like we've done this too with the, the trucking along series. We, we started out with one piece that we finished it in, but then as the series went on, we showed you different it ones. Evolved. Like we, we did the stitch, etc. frame. We also did like right now it's letter on box. a meta, metal letter box. And then what it was in the black frame first and something else. Yep. So we've done several different things with that. And we thought we would do the same thing with the new month to month series. Okay, the first, uh, first we just, one. We just can't wait to get going, so. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my car is fine. So. Number one is not you that one. You need to read this letter that I got. Yeah, I that, saw that. the problems with my car like that, too, but I don't, I haven't had that problem. I went to get my oil changed, and I was within my mileage. I put full synthetic in mine, and my thing was empty. And the guy was like, how far did you run this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I didn't. I'm here on time. So then I took it to the dealership. But they, was your light on that said it was out? No. Yeah. They took it to the dealership. I took it to the dealership. They like sealed it with some putty stuff. So I didn't open it. And then they were going to check it in a thousand miles. And I walk in that morning and the guy's like, I need your oil change receipts for the length, the entire length of the time you've had the car. And I'm like, well, first of all, <laughs> that would have been nice to know the last time I was here. And also good morning. And he's Are you like, supposed to save those? Apparently, yes. So, okay. um, but I called the place that I get it done at and they can print them out for you. But anyway, it was just like not even a good morning. Um, but they said, good news, Miss Miss Carter, you don't have to come back here. It's all good. And I'm like, well, do you want to check in at another thousand just to make sure? Nope. No worries. There's nothing wrong with it. So I said, okay. All right. Thank you. And then they gave cash a balloon and we left. Okay. Number one is uh, three opportunities to win lavender seeds. Number two is three opportunities to win honey delivery. I keep mixing that up because I wasn't sure if I should call it delivering honey or honey right. delivery and because we it. had delivering freedom. I wrote it on my blog. And delivery we had freedom honey. delivery. And then I, <laughs> we didn't change it. We, this, <laughs> okay, that was number one and two. Number three is from Fat Quarter Shop, and it's two opportunities to win mom's applause. Um, two <laughs> opportunities to win the home is where the wreath is. So if you're going to be stitching along with Kimberly for the um, stitch along home is where the wreath is, you can get one of these and you'll mm -hmm. be all set. Just get your fabric and your... I can't believe my cup is broke. That's number three, and there's two opportunities to win that. Thank you, Kimberly. Then number four is... Um, you get two patterns. This was sent from a viewer. The Little House Needleworks Part 1 and Part 3 of Fall is in the Air. That's number four. Number five is three charts of the sampler of the month. So you'll get January, February, and March. That's number five. From Country Cottage Needleworks. Sorry. Number six is the opportunity to win China Pearl Ada from Fat Quarter Shop. Number seven is Touch of Grey Linen from That's Fat pretty. Quarter Shop. I can see those, um, I can see all of these stitched on that gray. Yeah. That would be really pretty. Mm. Number eight. Seed packets maybe too. We were doing five opportunities to win Jingle Bell Cafe because that just went in as a PDF. So you'll get the PDF. Um, you know, we, we know that Stitch Mania is coming. Kimberly's doing a bunch of projects for that. You could stitch that. You could do it for Jolly July. Yes. That's number eight. Number nine is five opportunities to win the PDF of May calendar crates. This just went in the Etsy shop. And even if you didn't do the calendar crate series, if that wasn't, this is in your quilter, this would be. Mm -hmm. Cause they don't say, the calendar crates did not say the month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Daisy eight. May. Was that eight? I think so. Did you count both of those? Nine. Okay, nine. So number 10, Daisy May, five opportunities to win the PDF of Daisy May. A lot of you have stitched that. Um, so cute. I saw somebody did the back stitching around like the flowers and things. That was really pretty. Um, somebody did on a different color that I was. I think loving. also too, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to do uh, another giveaway in our group where we, everybody posts their home finishes. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait a couple of weeks on that, but 
that'll be fun to see all the different ones. I like seeing all the different colors. Mm -hmm. and, and then if we have them all in one thread for a giveaway, then people can see everybody's like right there. Yeah. Yeah. Do we need anything else? No. And again, the, we, do we need any more giveaways? Because I'm looking at two that I would kind of like no, to give away. No, next week. Okay. Ten, because we're at ten. <laughs> um, unless, are they PDFs? Because mm -hmm. we're going to do all PDFs next week. I am move, not moving next week. We're doing a retreat next week. So we're going to do PDFs. Are we doing them today? What did you say? Are we doing them today? What? These. This? No, what you're getting. Okay, number 11 is three opportunities to win fresh farm fresh eggs. Space Claire, have you done this one? <laughs> I'm sure she has. I know, she's I know. Done she's done all of them. Okay, so again, you're going to answer how your finishing has changed, or if it hasn't, that's completely fine too. Mm -hmm. um, throughout this process, if you're still throwing it under the bed, you can be honest and tell us that. <laughs> Um, we just like you stitching along and hanging out with us each week. We appreciate it. I used to take all my like, um, stitched ornaments and put them in those under the bed boxes and they were underneath my bed, but then you could kind of see it like when you walked in my room. So now I've made room in my closet and I've got my stack of ornaments in there. It's great. I ordered bedroom furniture too. Won't be here till July. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> July. Oh, okay. Fast shipping. That's kind of a lot. Mm-hmm. A long time. Well, your stuff wasn't supposed to come either, but it came early. Mm-hmm. In fact, it came so she early doesn't that, like I, it yet. The, that I missed the email. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was I got my shipping week. confirmation or my delivery set up, and I was like, oh, did you get one of these? Because it says that it's supposed to be a little bit earlier than it was. And she's like, well, where'd you get that from? I'm like, <laughs> the place we ordered the furniture from. <laughs> Who? <laughs> So I screenshot it, circled it, sent it to her, and she's like, oh my God, she sent me back her screenshot of it being canceled because she didn't respond to them. I'm like, good God. They didn't have my cell phone number. They had my home phone number, which I don't have a home phone. So. 356 three, three, three. <laughs> That was the So home I don't phone. have a home phone. So. Not many people do anymore. All right. Happy, happy Easter. We hope that you um, are able to celebrate with loved ones or have a peaceful, restful weekend. Um, yes, and if you need a recipe for tomorrow, make those, the chicken, uh, the, no, not chicken. It's the, like an appetizer. The um, broccoli, broccoli chicken, chicken casserole. No, broccoli chicken salad. Broccoli, broccoli salad. salad. No chicken. There's no chicken in it. Broccoli bacon salad. <laughs> broccoli okay. bacon salad. <laughs> broccoli cheese salad. Something. Some broccoli salad. Why did I have chicken for it then? <laughs> oh, okay. So this week on mom's blog, I made the, um, in the I Love Cilantro post, there's a, a chipotle pepper chicken. Yes. I made that. Papa grilled it. And then I made the lemon chicken mm -hmm. and grilled that. Um, yeah. And she puts it in Snapchat and all the brothers are like, what, what is that? that? And I, you know what I say? It's on the blog. <laughs> it's, it's on the blog. It's like you ate it all your life. <laughs> I mean... The white sauce. Yeah. Um, that was what I we made. We brought out the grill because it was supposed to be nice this week. It's supposed to be seventies next week, right? No, it's supposed to be cold all this weekend. So, um, anyway. we have a supper tonight. We're going to dinner, paisanos. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. I was looking at the menu last night just to pick out what I wanted. Really? <laughs> yes, I always do. Whenever we go somewhere, I go and look at the menu first to see what I want. But lazy dog, I get there. Um, Lemon chicken, and it comes with this green bean and tomato mm -hmm. saute thing. Yep, and a citrus little dressing on the side, and then cauliflower mashed potatoes. And when I was doing keto, they were the best cauliflower mashed potatoes ever. It's like a yes. Yeah, so we go last week, and I ordered the same thing, which I don't usually get what she gets, but I got the same thing. Campfire pot roast is good there too. And I have something on my shirt. I b believe it's the like ketchup or whatever you got going on right here. <laughs> it's not ketchup. I don't even need ketchup. <laughs> we ordered the anyway, same thing. The cauliflower was cool. I was so bummed because I look forward to that. I was it was so like bummed. icy. And I said to the waitress, I said, you might want to tell them back there. <laughs> it was it, the texture. Was, <clears throat> but still good. Mm -hmm. Still good. We still got our moose and ate that. Mm -hmm. Cash had some it. there, and then he went to a birthday party. He had a cotton candy that was, like, this large, had an icy snow cone. Then we went bowling, and he, I got the other little boy's ices, and he's like, can I have, no, 
there's not a chance because he was already like, hey guys, let's like party. And he was like 8.30 at night. Like, no, we're okay. <laughs> you can have pizza. All right. So we hope you have a very happy Easter and we're sorry that you fell off the table and that <laughs> things hope were a little okay. nutty around here. Sorry. But I hope that you have the right size jeans <laughs> so you don't choke. So you don't your choke <laughs> your fellow people when you're out of have. That's what <laughs> Matt said, he's like, where were you? She's like, I was at Hobby Lobby. Like, I wasn't. He's like, I mean, what kinda, store were you at? I didn't expect that at Walmart. He's like, just, she's like, I just thought she was in her earpiece or something. And I'm like, uh. Yeah, and he also said it could have been somebody that does, like, YouTube videos. And, and they just, were pranking you yeah, or something. just trying to get a reaction. But I just, like, scurried off. <laughs> like, she, could, she couldn't run too fast because her jeans were so tight. She ran. <laughs> If any of you have met me at a retreat, you know my jeans are not tight. I mean, they fit me normal, but. You're <laughs> choking me. I was like, she had this big coat on. I was thinking, God, she could have a gun. She could have a knife. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of someone you know being got held up by knife point saying, your jeans are choking me. Well, who says that? So when I got up to the counter, I had to do like three separate things. Like I hope she's a fan and like, watching today. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like part of it was for the, the retreat, so I did that separate. Then part of it was for the business, so I did that separate. And then I had my stuff, and I'm just looking behind me the whole time. Like, is she going to come up here and say something else? Or, you know, Are like, my boobs is she gonna, okay? <laughs> <laughs> is she going to explode the store? She brought, you probably had your uniform on too, so she knows where to find us. Oh, Great, great, <laughs> crazy town is going to be out there. We're looking for broccoli casserole tomorrow. We're not having broccoli casserole. We're having broccoli salad. Choke on that. <laughs> anyway, so we hope you have a happy Easter. And My jeans are kind of tight today. <laughs> Nobody tells you your pants are too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Wear your loose pants for Easter supper. Yes. All right. So thank Have you so a much great day. for joining us. And don't forget, be a subscriber, like the video, and then answer the question. Has your finishing changed since you watched us? Or did you just like start stitching and so now you finish like us? Or, you know, what's what's your finishing thing? Yeah. Or maybe it's not getting finished. That's fine too. Yeah, we no judgment here. There's no cross. Okay, so follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and priscilla 2000blogspotcom Priscilla Blaine on TikTok. Yeah, that too. Where you see her dance. Like the inner tight jeans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're done. Okay, bye. <laughs> We will see you, uh, oh, next week we will be at the retreat. So we will uh, record. Maybe I should turn around and show my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> we will show not you. Not <laughs> we will show you. We will record. <laughs> We're not showing you anything. We will. She's already tried to show you her butt on. We had to take that out <laughs> a few episodes oh, oh, ago. Oh, look who's talking. Oh, my, my oh. butt hangs on my pants all the time. Um, we will record on Friday and we will put it up on Saturday because we but will we'll, at the we'll retreat. We'll show you the retreat piece. Yes. That's what she's trying to tell you. Oh. All right. We will see you next week. And it's the start of a new series. So, yes. <laughs> happy Easter. Happy, I was going to say happy birthday. Happy Easter. Can you stop waving? <laughs> I don't know.